So let me just talk about the new job offer. This is usually some type of like a, an offer coming in for an internship, an income generating capability, a job where you might have to kind of like start at the bottom and work your way up. So I feel like for some of you, there might have been like a promotion coming in. There might have been a new job that was on the offering for you. And this is something that I mentioned earlier. And what it denotes basically is it's a small incremental, you know, a, a slow moving type of energy where if you find yourself in a new job, the salary increase promotions are going to be slow in coming, but there is a lot of room for growth. There's a lot of room for movement. There's a lot of room as well. For travel. So for example, if you're working with a big corporation or if you're working with like a public, um, in the public sector, you could even be allowed, you know, to be transferred to a different department, to a different state, to a different city later on. So I feel like it is worth investing in this work situation. And I also feel that you are going to have a lot of emotional satisfaction out of the work that you're doing. Um, you come into this month here as the Empress and the Empress basically is, you know, uh, abundance, having a lot of opportunities at your disposal, being in a position where you have a lot of skills, where you have a lot of assets, you have a lot to contribute to a company, an organization, or, you know, wherever it is that you're working, you know, where your skills lie and you also know what you are worth. But if this work situation it's not giving you, you know, right off the bat, if it's like, if it requires a lot, like, first of all, training, a little bit of a three month training so that you can do the job. And then, you know, after six months, they're going to give you like a permanent position. And then after you get that permanent position, then you're going to be in a position to um, transfer or even get a promotion or apply for a promotion. So I feel like it has a lot of potential. It requires you starting from, from the bottom. It requires that you start at a level that you feel might be a little bit beneath you. And so they're saying everything's going to be fine because you are really going to be enjoying the work that you do. You will also be able to, I feel for some of you, you're dealing with a lot of people and you're able to help the situation, uh, to make the situation better for them. So honestly, I feel like you are where you're meant to be to be able to help a lot of people and not only to enjoy the work that you're doing, but to help people find the emotional satisfaction and the emotional stability in whatever capacity they're dealing with you as. Okay. So I feel all around the environment looks really, really abundant. We are starting here with the moon card and the moon card basically indicates a situation where we feel like we don't have all the information. We feel like there are some things um, hidden from us. And we also feel as if we're not really sure which direction to take and which direction to move forward in. So there's a lot of uncertainty. There's also a lot of like lack of clarity, lack of finality, lack of closure as well. And I also feel for many of you, you're you have made major decisions in the month of um, the past month, August, and you're waiting for things to, to, to play out. And a lot of you have hesitation or reservations about the decisions that you have made. But because you're making these decisions, all of these choices, all of these other options are falling away. And I feel like they need it to fall away for a reason so that you can stop doubting yourself. Okay. So this sense of self doubt is still lingering, but the, the fact that it's the first card in the spread indicates to me residual energy that you're still dealing with from the previous month, which is August. So we have some really big things happening for this, um, this in this spread. We have two major arcana cards and this is basically, um, also birth, pregnancy, uh, expanding the family unit, new additions into the family. So I feel like for, for some of you who might be in this position, there is overall a lot of support, people chipping in, in the housing environment to help you. And I do see a lot of love, uh, see a lot of love, a lot of support, especially, uh, if you are a mother, um, coming from your children, like they're, they're showing you love. They're giving you a helping hand. They're showing you a lot of appreciation. And then for others, there's like new people being added into the family unit to, to make you feel like this, 
you know, family reunion, people all coming together in a very beautiful way. Okay. Um, I also feel, first of all, we have the card here about travel. So this is, um, overall, if you are saving up money, so this is, you know, assessing your financial situation, assessing whether or not it's going to be feasible for you to even contemplate living overseas. You might have family members who are doing that, but they're, they have some financial hangups. They have some things that are not clearing up for them to do that. So in terms of travel, the world resting on top of the hangman. This indicates to me some delays that are going to happen. So you need to get, you know, your financial situation sorted out. You need to get things finalized from your end before this travel arrangement is going to take place. And I feel like if you're thinking, you know, I feel like seven months time. So that's going to take us into possibly like the very end. This is a year for you guys to sort out your financial situation, to really have a tight rein overall on your budget and to be really aware of how much money you have, how much disposable income you have, and to sort out your financial situation. So if you are due, you know, if you owe debts, if you owe things, I feel like some of you are breaking them down and talking to financial institutions even to have some type of a installment plan, like a payment, um, paying them off in installments so that you can get rid of debt, paying down student loans. I feel like this is more debt for, for many of you. It's like hospital bills, for example, paying back like car loans and things like that. Things that are a little bit more I want to say like the, the, the interest is a little bit higher. So I feel like you're going to, this is the year for you to get these areas sorted out so that you know how much you owe, you know how much you make. And I feel many of you are keeping a closer, kind of like a closer, you know, rein on your spending overall on your financial situation, which is good. Um, Sagittarius, I feel like you're not good at doing this and usually it's, it's too tedious for you. It's too detail oriented and it's too tedious. And so you have avoided doing this for a really long time. This is the year for you to get that situation sorted out. Okay. And I, I feel that it looks really good. If you are a combination, especially a uh, fire and air, this is like the last thing that you want to do, but it is the first thing that you absolutely need to focus on. If you have like water in your chart or earth sign in your chart, aside from Sagittarius, then that will help you manage it a lot better. But I feel that some of you, you can't really wing it anymore. You need to be a little bit more, you know, on top of things when it comes to your financial situation. Okay. Not that you're in the red, but I do sense that um, money is coming through. It's not like it's not coming in, but I feel like there are things in the past that you still owe, that you still need to pay off or that you, you still have some type of financial arrangement that needs to be taken care of. Okay. So travel is going to be de delayed on account of that, on account of some financial hangups. Okay. And once again, um, diagnoses when it comes to health. So we have a situation here with the hangman and, um, the hangman basically means getting a second opinion, getting a, a second look at a situation because we have to look at it from a different perspective. And with the nine of swords, this is usually a card that deals heavily with like some type of ache, malice, like um, some type of bodily pain, some type of symptom that you are experiencing that is not creating the space for you to, you know, have restful sleep, uh, sleep all through the night. It's like being woken up because of some pain, something unexpected that that is keeping you from getting restful sleep. So if there are any health issues, um, get them sorted out, get them, you know, get, get checked up, especially getting a second opinion as well. I do feel for many of you, um, they, they mentioned as well, you know, that the whole head, head and throat, and especially teeth situation, there's a lot of pressure around the, um, I, I feel like there's a lot of pressure here around the teeth area, inflammation or, or something, including the head. And it can cause a lot of inflammation. It can cause fevers. It can just uh, disrupt your sleep. So, you know, going to the doctor, taking, especially if you have new children added into the family, especially, you know, young babies and things like that, there is um lack of sleep that's happening for you. And it's understandable, but I feel that it's, it would be good for you if they're feverish, if they're sick to, you know, get them checked out. Okay. So 
that's something a little bit more mundane, but I feel that it's going to be occupying a lot of your thoughts for this month. Um, I'm also feeling as well, you know, this is a major combination here for depression. The moon basically feeling very somber, feeling um, a little bit like feeling like you don't know who to trust. And then the nine of swords deals with mental anguish. All of the other cards indicates to me that some of you are just ready to start a new phase in your life. But these might be the things that are really holding you back. That's really preventing you from, um, you know, living and behaving as if you were this person, this uh, love, you know, abundance incarnate so i feel like some of you have some emotional hang up still that you're still dealing with and it's preventing you from moving on with your life it's not affecting you as heavily i feel because you know you generally bounce back really well but i feel like when you're alone when you're trying to sleep that's when you cycle through past events and you're kind of like kicking yourself i should have said this in that situation why did I do that in that situation? So keep in mind, all of these things, it's normal for us to cycle through them and think about them. But you also want to also, um, you know, be realistic as well. It's already in the past. Nothing I can say, nothing I can do can really change it. So don't dwell on it and try to move past it. Okay, does that make sense? Because I feel like you guys have a habit of like at night, you're in bed trying to go to sleep and rather than, you know, doing your breathing exercises or meditation or whatever it is that you, you do to go to sleep, you think about things and you you, you beat yourself up over it or you, you feel like I should have had, um, I should have, you know, had like a better comeback in that situation. I should have spoken out. So you're beating yourself up over things that you should have done in the past. So you know, try not to let these things eat at you. We all make mistakes, okay? So letting them go is going to be very crucial. And the part, the, the fact that it comes out at the beginning and also at the end of the month, I feel like it's an energy that comes and goes, but it's going to be scattered throughout the month. I want you to be careful about that. When you see those negative thoughts coming through, shake them off, okay? Shake them off and think about something else, uh, especially in your sleep, um, when you're trying to get into your sleep state, okay? Um, so the other t two cards that came into the picture here, we have the Eight of Cups. And this is basically moving back to a situation, trying to work things out, not feeling like you have all the answers that you need. And I feel like this might be coming in, in your work environment, in your work environment, kind of like beating yourself up because you feel like you did something wrong. You feel like you um, made a mistake as it concerns some type of a big work project, some type of a, a negotiation even for some of you. And so you have, you know, spent a lot of time and resources and energy. Um, I, I feel like dealing in a specific, like handling a specific client or dealing with a specific situation and now you have to, you know, go back and fix it. So that is also going to be occupying a lot of your time, but I also feel Sagittarius. Just know that, you know, you're on the right path. You're going to get everything that you want, okay? You're going to be able to achieve all the great things that your heart desires. And all it requires is that you focus on the moment. Don't beat yourself up over things from the past and especially, you know, thinking about like, I should have done this. I should have said that. I should have told this person this. I should have given them, you know, a piece of my mind. So just learn from the past and, and move on with it and don't dwell on it. Okay. Um, so I feel like overall things are looking very good. Um, this is a card overall, the seven of, of cups, like options are, are kind of like narrowing down. Okay options or the false options are being taken away so what you have left over are the real things okay this is a card overall about um expectations and reality and so i feel moving forward for this month a lot of reality checks are happening in your life but i feel like for for some of you it's finance related it's forcing you to be really careful about where you're spending your money and being very careful about saving up for a rainy day. For others, I feel like some health issues that needs to be addressed, that needs to be, you know, 
gotten to the bottom of. So that means going to the doctor, figuring out what's going on, okay? And I also feel as well, for those of you who are, you know, pregnant, congratulations. Um, try to keep yourself very, very stress-free. And I know that's hard to do because, you know, we interact with so many people, right? And they can be a source of stress as well. I feel that you can come to your family for a lot of emotional support. And so keep yourself grounded, keep yourself, you know, focused this month and don't ruminate over past issues, okay? Keep yourself living in the present moment because we have a lot of good things here. 